Welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Claire. And this is the OE Fixie Travel Coffee Grinder. This is the third and possibly the most important component of your travel coffee system. Because freshly ground coffee is a big deal when you want to have a good cup of coffee. Now, there's various uh, devices that are pretty convenient to, to use when you're, when you're doing your travel coffee. As you can see, we've got an AeroPress. We've got drippers, we've got a, a travel French press here, a Pico Pitcher. Uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, the Stella Mocha Pot, Café Pierre. It's an Italian vintage device for making espresso. Uh, I, this video, I want to emphasize and show you how to dial in your fixie for your specific brew type. I've dialed in this mocha pot using my fixie discs and the fixie tuners that come with it. And the way that you do this, the very simplest way to do this, is to use a, a, a reference grind, some that you already know, a grinder that you already have. And in this case, I use this. This is our stalwart Lido 3. This has been our travel grinder for years. And I'm driving the car, and we're making a, a mocha pot. Barb's making the mocha pot. And she says, what's the grind setting? And I say, five on the Lido. If I can't remember, I say six on the Lido. <laughs> and it comes out a little different. But this was my reference grinder for creating this setting. Okay? So imagine this. We're going down the road. Need a cup of coffee. We've got our little, you know, flame-proof mat that we use down on the floor. Barb sometimes has to hold it between her feet, and I give her a warning. I say, there's a bump ahead or big curve or whatever. But it gets the job done. So I'll go ahead and set this up. I have already have my water here. Pop that in. Put on the lid. And put it on the flame. Key is you don't want to push it down too hard or it's too hard to get off. Fireproof board. Kind of. Here we go. So, while that's brewing, okay, I'll show you how I did this. I dialed it in. This is my setup for my mocha pot. Okay. Yeah, we'll move some of these things out of the way so Barb can see. So, yeah, are you good there? Yep. Okay. What I used to achieve this was the fine disc, which is marked 1, the Dalrin disc. I used a 0.2 and a 0.1 tuner shim. So, you can see how the 0.2 this is, is more opaque than the 0.1, and you can also feel the difference. This is stiffer and this is softer. Okay. But that's how I dialed it in, which pretty much approximates the setting of five on the Lido 3, which has worked for us for the, for the Stella Brewing. So. And you did that by grinding some coffee in the 3, then grinding some coffee in the Fixie, and adding the discs until you... Until had I had it right. Or I had it close, close enough. You know, that, for example, espresso on this grinder is the fine one and all four of these discs. 2.2s and 2.1s takes it down so, to, espresso. to espresso. So for a practical example, we'll do this while well, that's brewing. Okay, I have pre-ground some coffee that I use for this brewer here. I use this for, for my Kono style dripper. Okay. Right, this is a reference brew. Ground this in a known grinder now. So I will, as I said, some of it's knowledge, some of it's trial and error. I have to find my discs. Okay. Nominally, number two, two dots, that's the medium disc or the brew disc. So let me just pop that on. Put on the handle. And the nut. And I'll 
always make sure you put this on so you don't forget it. And I'll reach in and you don't really need to grind that many beans to, to get them. I just put in a few beans there. And you know, I'll just put my hand over the hole. It's no big deal. Now by the spots, the, the sound and the speed, I put that. Okay, so then you come in here. So, a little too coarse. So, if I want to make it finer, I take this off and let me put on each time you add anything, anything you add to this, another disc or a tuner shim or whatever you add to it, it makes it finer. Moves it in the finer direction. Okay, so let's see, I'll put a point one on. And this is pretty much similar to, to you know, if you've had to dial in a grinder, which means is you grind, you, you change the setting and you grind a few beans, and then you compare it to your, your reference. Then you, you, know, you do this over and over again until it's dialed in. Oh, I sure hit that jackpot. I'm supposed to be using the, the really, it's, it's easy to use the, the jar. Jar. Keep an eye on my flame over there. Yeah, the manual says use the jar, so, you know. You're flaming away. You're flaming you're away. You hear it when it starts from the pocket. You, you might notice this is a very quiet grinder. And it's, it's interesting that different uh, materials in a, in a grinder, even an electric grinder, uh, if there's a lot of plastic in it, it'll broadcast the sound in a different way than if there's a lot of metal. And a lot of times a manufacturer will use zinc uh, instead of aluminum in certain components because it just it absorbs the sound and broadcasts in a different way. But the materials of this grinder make it very quiet, which is very nice. Okay, so I'll come in here. Well, let's look a little closer. I need one more. So I'll take out my, and you notice I'm holding my hand on the burr down here in this end because the burr just falls right out if you've seen our other videos. Now I need my, this is my point two. Okay. So you've taken off the point one took off and the point put one. on the point two. Now this might seem a little tedious, but at the same time, you're only doing this once because the grinder doesn't change. Even if you change beans, it has to be a huge change. And you I mean you have to go from extremely dark roast to extremely light roast. Let me do this properly. See how much easier that was. That wasn't much if you easier. if you read the instructions. And you didn't spill them. No. Okay, so I've got the medium disc and a point two tuner on it. And as I said, you don't have to grind very many beans at all to get an idea for how you're doing on this. Okay. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think that probably... I think I'll probably end up putting a... Uh, one more. I'll put that point one back on it, and I'll so be done. You'll have one point two and right. one point one, right. and the original. Yeah, put the point one back on it. The original medium. Right. Day. Since my my coffee's not ready yet, so I have a little time. Also set a pretty high bar because I'm I'm referencing a flat burr, ghost tooth burr grind here. This is from an apex, so it's a pretty high bar to, to get that perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. 
conicals, the, the, the particles look a little different than they do in a, in a flat burr. Okay, so I'll come on here in this little corner. Yeah, except for some big chunk of chaff, I think that I'm, I'm pretty much there on this. Point. So you have a medium disc plus a point two plus a point one. A point one. And that's this is the Kono that, that that I use at home, but it's see functional equivalent. Okay. So that's dialing in the grinder, and it's that simple. You want to write it down, stuff it in the bag. For this dripper, it's medium disc, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, okay? Now, there's other aspects that that you can, uh, uh, say you're gonna do a French press. I'll just show you that one. Well, once again, we're waiting. I don't know how long this video is going, Barb, but I think that this is good information for most people. I use my number three, which is the thinnest disc which creates the biggest gap. Now, when I start out on this one, it's gonna be quite coarse, and you, you put it on the coarse end. See how big that gap is? People have all kinds of different... Put the beans in the grinder. Oh, shoot, I did it again. This is just going to go through like zoop. Now for French press, we're going to be starting out. Pretty coarse. Okay. Depending on how you, what kind of press you have, how you prefer your French press, the, the finer you grind it in a press, then the, the bolder it's going to be. And uh, uh, once again, you'll dial in to meet the grind that you need with whatever reference grind that you have. Now, I don't know if this coffee is ever going to be done, but I, I actually pretty much said uh, all that I think I need to say because to demonstrate dialing in. Uh, I would add that I've used this uh, with a commercial espresso machine. And... Um, it's a little trickier to dial in for espresso because you sometimes use smaller increments than this, these 0.2 and 0.1. And there's, matter of fact, this is what I ended up using for espresso, okay? I used the fine disc and all of my discs. Then I started interchanging them and putting them in and taking them out. These are rolling papers, okay? which are 0.2. They don't even have to be very beautiful. 0.02, I'm sorry. 0.02 millimeters, 20 microns. And it's your it, basic zigzag. Yeah, well, the zigzag is a little thinner than, than thicker papers. And then there's other things like aluminum foil. Uh, Heavy-duty aluminum foil is thicker than regular aluminum foil. So you can come up with, your, with some pretty precise shim systems by finding these in... I, this, th th I, these are not my, th these are highly refined. Yeah, you they know? look real refined. Yeah, they look refined, but I just cut it. It's like making snowflakes, you know. I just cut the thing and made a hole in the center of it, and I made sure I wrote down. And I just keep these things. And it, it, dialing in is dialing in. Dialing in a grinder is the same for everything. But we just wanted to make sure that you knew that this is a very responsive grinder as far as setting it up for grinding your coffee. You can, you can make very small changes if you wish. We did not attempt to supply some of these really, really thin shims because they're very easy to damage and it, it's, it was one of those things, it was a decision that we made that if you're gonna do espresso, you're really ready to do the extra work uh, to make this happen on the road. And look what's happening. That's just perfect. Can you see that? And let me tell you, when you're 
when you, you're needing a good cup of coffee and you hear that start to drip, it's just beautiful. So this is uh, the last of our travel series uh, videos, our travel gear series. Uh, once again, we have the Pico, we have the Flat Pack Classic, we have the Flat Pack Ultralight, and we have the, the Fixie Travel Coffee Grinder. Um, I hope that this gear can possibly make your life a little better, a little easier, or just give you a good cup of coffee.